Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia Competition by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred and Griff? Well, <laughs> Jesus, how in the hell? The Hungers are your champions. Unbelievable. You don't even know California! <laughs> Uh, the movie's called Get Fucked. Oh, 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 yes! Of the dozen seasons oh, of Town Hall. Oh, All right, it's a dozen. Match 298 overall. Match 84 of season three of the dozen, the third to last week of the dozen. Nine more matches left in the regular season. And then the dozen trivia tournament three, where we will crown our third champion uh, coming up in a few weeks. Big matches this week. We have this one, uh, top five team in ZD playing their last match of the season. Gen XYZ playing great. Both teams will be in the tournament. They're ranked number nine, two former final four teams. And then at the end of the week, the battle for the crown seven, the honkers. Clemmer, Robbie Fox, Gia taking on the Yak, Big Cat, Roan, Che uh, for the number one spot. And then the winner will take on the winner of the Baddies and the Experts for the regular season title in a few weeks. Uh, what's going on, though? Dave, ZD, last match, pretty solid regular season so far. Trying to end it on, end it on a high note here. Yeah, my wire's not working. It's not, it's, it's not, it's and I can't start. see Lars the way it's set up. And, and this is, I mean... Jeff, I know we're doing ratings. I know you play a schedule, but who fucking cares about this game, right? Uh, there is, there's a small rumor for Team ZD, though. I, I want your opinion on it before we start. Eddie Eddie is trying to throw around changing up your niche. to what? What is it, Eddie? We're thinking about picking a movie. We like Me and Clem are big uh, Billy Madison uh, knowledge guys. That's a, that's a big potential change for the tournament, though. I, big thing. It's news to, yeah, I mean, it's news to me. That's the first I've heard of it. I, I assume I'd be involved in those discussions at some level, Jeff, but I, it's just, this is crazy. The last I'm match with it. <laughs> he wants to debut it in the first round of the tournament, potentially. That's risky, risky. Uh, and large, before we begin, just got off a plane from Talladega, uh, running on literal fumes, I assume, and also physically tired. This is all Austin's fault, this whole setup. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Lights. Yeah, it's so dark. It's because I'm not. I'm using the my laptop thing. I don't know why you can't fix it, Austin. I just unplugged it, and plugged it in. But whatever it is, what it is. Turn on his lights, Austin. Large, you guys might be in better shape. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. We're doing pretty well. Dude. Like we had trouble. Whatever it is, what it is. We had trouble during the rundown. You would have thought we'd fix it or get it fixed. But whatever. Go ahead. 24 questions, 12 rounds of trivia, 25th being the bonus round. I can't uh, even see myself. Beat. It's so fun. 4 2 and 0. ZD 5 3 and 1. Uh, three lifelines, double up any category you want except for round 10. That's in each category round, already worth two points. Uh, also, the call a friend lifeline presented by Big Deal Brewing. Uh, excuse me, double sip lifeline presented by Big Deal Brewing. That makes more fucking sense. Uh, and call a friend. Uh, you can pair a call a friend and a double sip together, but you cannot use those on any question worth two points, as usual, and you can't use any lifeline on a steal. Uh, here we go. Last match of the regular season for both of these teams. Uh, Gen XYZ up first every round. Large final answer person for Gen XYZ. ZD, Dave, final answer person. First category is the NBA. NBA, anyone want a double? Didn't think so. 35 seconds on the clock when I'm done reading the question. XYZ. This athletic small forward power forward spent seven seasons in Charlotte in his second in his second in 2006. He led the NBA with two and a half steals per game and also averaged 2.1 blocks per game. This is for who? This is for Gen uh, XYZ. This is for them. Um, there's only one name that comes to mind. I know he was on the Bobcats and Mecca Okafor, but I don't know if the timing is right. I think... I know he was on a co- the cover of a college video game. Right. I was thinking that too, but I I think there was another person on the Bobcats that it would have been. I think – wasn't Okafor a center technically? He might have been. We could also double sip if you're sure it's someone. I just can't think of the other guy's name. Ten seconds. Jeff, we're going to go with the Mecca Okafor final answer. Can't do that. No. That was wrong. It's quiet. It, but. 
Gerald, uh, Michael Gerald Wallace, maybe. Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. Gerald Wallace, fine answer. One nothing ZD off of Edward. Squad. Good job. What were you gonna say? Michael Kidd Gilchrist? Chris. Is he on even on the Bob? Hornet, Eddie, Hornet. you're a fucking sniper with the NBA. Keep it rolling, baby. Uh to make it two nothing off the top. Utah made its first playoff appearance after Carl Malone's departure in 2007 with this small forward anchoring their defense with 2.1 blocks per game. Karolenko? Gotta be AK 47, yeah. yeah. Andre Karolenko, is that his name? Yep. Andre Karolenko. Fine answer. Two nothing early start for Z. Good start, boys. Early start. Bullshit Eddie. Question. And Clem, MVP candidates, by the way. Uh, here we go. X, Y, Z. And Dave. And Dave. And Dave. Dave. Uh, no, 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 I'm fine. It, it, the results. Hey, Dave is up for captain um, of the year. Dave's up for captain of the year. Oh, I, didn't know, that, I didn't know that was. That is. That is a new award. Will Compton thinks he's going to win it. That's a bold take from Will. Why? <laughs> yes, he was an all star. <laughs> um, uh, X, Y, Z. Celebrity mashup. Name the two celebrities mashed up in this photo. This is for you guys. X, Y, Z down 2 nothing very early. I can't see myself. Hmm. That's America Ferrar and uh, Alec Baldwin. It's Alec Baldwin and Neil Neal. Final answer. That is correct. Good shit, Large. I don't even know. Who, I I wouldn't known that woman on the left's name in my life depended on it. No, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I can see <laughs> her better than I can see. What her. What is she in? <laughs> um, uh, Ugly Betty and Superstore oh, yeah. among the TV shows. Whoa, yeah. Large. Jeez. I'm impressed. Uh, other side to make it three to one. Name the two celebrities. Alec Baldwin killed it. Yeah, Baldwin was easy. That <laughs> other one is a murderer. Oh, uh, I got the outside. Fuck. Shit. I, I, I. It, well, now I have two. I, it, it, well, should I say them? Yeah. Anna Kendrick or um, the Devil Wears Prada. Need an answer. Are those in. both wrong? I don't think Five, so. Four. So should three, I not say the outside? Yeah, don't two. say the outside then. That's pretty one. easy though. No. Other side. You're going De- Deborah Messing on the inside. Who do you guys think on the outside? Is it Jude Law? I have no clue. Oh fuck! I don't think that's Jude Law, but I don't know. I haven't seen him recently. Okay, it's definitely Deborah Messing because huge Will and Grace guy. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I see that. Thanks. Yeah, I, see that too. Um, I don't know who the outside is. Jake? I have no clue. All of you. I'll go Jude Law, Deborah Messing. I think it is Jude answer. Law. That is correct. Oh, Jude Law, Deborah Messing. Nice, large. Good work, large. I haven't seen Jude Law with gray hair. 2-2. Two, two. Like like Back-to-back player. sweeps. Next category oh, is the large, NFL. Large. Very good. Very good. The NFL. This is for XYZ. Three players from this NFC team had over 1,000 receiving yards in 2008. Steve Breston and what other two wide receivers? Um, I know XYZ. one. I'm trying to think of another. I got it. Uh, I think I know what it is. But there, I know one, but I don't know about another. Is it? Is it There's the Cardinals? A- yeah. Oh, name the fucking other two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think I know who it is. Uh, I think Say one it. is obvious, but I don't know about another one. You want to double sip? Say him. Say the first one. Larry, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald, and then uh, who was the guy that went to the Ravens? He got his face Five. bashed in. Four. I don't know. Three. Fuck! Come on, Jake. Uh, Larry two. Fitzgerald and uh, America Ferrar. <laughs> <laughs> Anquan Bolden, Anquan Bolden, and Larry Fitzgerald. Anquan Bolden, Larry Fitzgerald. So stupid. Said. Sorry, guys. Three All to right. two. I'm stupid. My bad. No, I should have had that. To make it I would have never three. gotten Steve Breston. That was that would have been. Yeah, that was the hardest of the bunch. <laughs> three players from this ASC team at over a thousand receiving yards in 2004. Brandon Stokely with other two wide receivers. Stokely, Stokely. I think that's Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne. Right? Was that yeah. Stokely in 04? Marvin Harris. Dan Manning just got him killed. Over Reggie there. Wayne, final answer. That's a rare misstep. Good bounce back. Side. It's a rare misstep by Jeff D. Lowe right there. What? What was that? Uh, Vibs is a cult. We don't typically give questions when the yeah, fans that was, are there. But... That, was, that was an easy one. Yeah. 
Four to two. Well, yeah, good bounce back. Such an easy but, answer. We couldn't by get By the it. way, yeah, that was a good bounce back. A, a good answer. Good uh, answer. Music next category. Uh, XYZ, you have doubled recently. Do you want to double music again? Sure. Okay. Do you want to double music? Here we go. Here's your question. What is the title of this 2013 song? 2013 song. Sure. Here you are. You are gonna come to me. Here you are. But you better. I can say it confidently. I've never heard that song in my life. <laughs> mm, I know that song. I think it's Katy Perry, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know. All right, yeah, Jake, I like that. Who? What is the title of it, though? I don't know. Is it Alien? I don't know. Alien by Katy Perry. I don't know. Final answer. I think it's Dark Horse, right? Yeah. Whoa. Dark Horse, Dark Katy Horse. Perry, uh, Dark Horse, I guess, doesn't matter. But Dark Horse, final answer. That's a two-point steal right there, six to two. <laughs> Ball hasn't hit the ground yet, right? I think every answer, every question's been answered yeah. so far. Eddie, no, every, yeah, no balls hit the ground, everything through the hoop. Here we go, other side. I think it's Dark Horse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm a big Katy Perry fan. I, I, I think it's Dark Horse. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you know, California girls. Or 2015 to make it seven, <laughs> too. I say what's on my mind. I might do a little time. This is uh, one, two, it's something, two, three, four. Four or five Con- seconds from Wilden? Yeah, it's Kanye and, and oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It, I'm two seconds from Wilden. We can play it again, right? Silvana, no, bring her in. I say what's on no, my she won't know this song. This is my song. I used to I listen to it. I started hating on Jews, and then I had to get it off my <laughs> fucking playlist, so I, I haven't like listened it. to it in a long time. Had a boy. I did Love the same it. with R. Kelly when he started pissing Ten on kids. Ten seconds. I can also play it two more times. Does that extend the second count? <laughs> the music does pause. The All right, so when you go down to one, play it again. <laughs> Smart. No one's ever done that before. It's like one. Two, it's a number count, Eddie. Five, four, four five seconds. Three, two. I say what's on my mind. I might do a little time. The what's the next me. lyric? One. I think it's an, um, play it I again. <laughs> I say what's on my mind. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say four, four, five, four or five seconds, final answer. Seven. Captain of the year right there, folks. Captain of the year. That's how you play it out. There we go. <laughs> no one's Good gained stuff, the system man. like that before. It's smart. College hoops next category. College hoops. 7-2 early. Here we go. This is for XYZ. In 2009, this at the time. Okay, so pause for a second. At the time means they may still be in the conference. They may not be. It's a blanket term. Just it's in the specific year we're asking. They were in the conference. We're saying so. Just keep that in mind. They may still be there. They may not be there. In 2009, this at the be time, Big Twelve School made their second Elite Eight of the 2000s with players including Damari. Mizzou. Mizzou. Mizzou, you said. Kim English went to Mizzou. Yeah. Uh, Missouri. Final answer. That is correct. Seven like Coach of Providence. That's your guy, Dave. Right. I know. That's why that was a layup question. Yeah. Seven, okay. seven to three to make it eight to three. In 2007, this at the time Pac 10 school made their second lead eight in 2000 with players including Malik Harrison and Tawan Porter. Jake knows it. Pac 10. This is a fun thing. I'm thinking who's got it? I think they think Jake has it. We could either call someone, double dip. I don't know how you guys are feeling about this, but we have those two on the board right now. I don't hit a call. I think it, I think I have it, but I could be totally wrong too. Um, who would you call? Re- Reegs. All right. You want me to call Reegs? Yeah. All right. Hopefully, take right, call Reegs. Would make it eight to three. Every category. my guess, by the way, is going to be USC, but we'll see. Point and steal. We've never. Oh, I've never seen this before. Like, how do you feel about USC? I don't really know this one. I, I think I know it. I have a guess, a good guess. 
But Riggs is going to get it if, if the answer is Arizona State. State. I mean, Reese got to pick up. What's he? Hey. Yo, what's up, buddy? You're on the dozen. All right. All right. Daddy's on the phone call. In 2007, this at the time Pac-10 Pac school made their second Elite Eight of the 2000s with players including Malik Harrison and Tawan, Tawan Porter. What year? Uh, 2007. 2007? Malik Harrison, Tawan Porter, Pac-10 school. I'm thinking Washington. Let me just double think if there's anyone else. Oh, shit, is it Washington or Oregon? This was the second time they made the Elite Eight in the 2000s, if that helps at all. I think it's Washington, but I'm not like 100%. Okay. Ten Thank seconds. you. So Washington, final answer. Other side. Oregon? I think it's Washington or Oregon. I feel like. I think it's yeah. Oregon. That was my right. guess before. Riggs, what a bum. Gives two answers. I'm going to go with uh, Oregon, final answer. <laughs> yeah, he hadn't missed a phone reference since October. It is Oregon, 7-4. to four. No, uh, He wow. should lose like three because he not only got wrong, he gave out the right answer as his other guess. What he, like, Riggs' his team I was all in on USC. I would have done USC. Riggs' family in danger yeah, of being I, in the I playing game that. in the tournament. <laughs> Seven for every category have had a complete sweep. Crazy. I've never seen that before. Movies next category. This is for XYZ down seven to four. We'll double up. Set in South Africa, this 2009 Neil Blomkamp sci-fi action direct directional was both a financial success and an Oscar Best Picture nominee. District Nine. District Nine, final answer. One Seven of the most five. underrated movies, and I know it got awards, but you don't hear a lot. I'm surprised. <coughs> I, didn't, I didn't think you guys were getting that. Great movie. No, no one Great talks movie. about it. Great yeah. movie. To make it 8-5 to five going into the bonus round. Michael Fassbender starred in this 2012 sci-fi horror prequel film that polarized both critics and fans. It was a commercial success. I think I know what this is. You're a big Fassbender guy. Love horror him. prequel film. Uh, huge timer on it, man. <laughs> Sci-fi horror? What the fuck? Yeah, I I know it. I know it. The this one is or something. No. What? Oh, Blade Runner? No, no. Blade Runner came out way after. Was there an alien? Some sort of an aliens one that got redone? Because that's a sci-fi horror. Was there? Ten seconds. Mm. Fuck. Kind of less than that, but it's not, I don't even know if it's a prequel. But Snowpiercer, oh, no, need wrong. an answer in five, four. Prey was the pre Predator. How Prey, long? Prey, final answer. Prometheus. Prometheus. Final. Yep. Seven to six. What a little comeback by X Y Z there after giving up their double up point. That's First time weeks. that's ever happened in show history. Every category was swept <laughs> by one team only. <laughs> <laughs> Time to make the donuts. You don't know it, Riggs. Don't, don't give an answer, you know? You gotta <laughs> ask first. You gotta ask. Do you want us to do you want me to answer? I'm not sure. I'm gonna throw out two things. That's what I did on the whatever. Alright, here we go. Showdown bonus round time. Here's how this works. Each person goes one at a time. The captains will be selecting somebody to go uh, in order against each other. It's a closest guess battle. Uh, team First team to three points gets two points, either going to be eight to seven XYZ or nine to six ZD. If you get an answer dead on, that's worth two points. You get one normal win, it's worth one point. Team that gets three first wins. Large will select somebody, Dave will counter. So everybody must go at least once. If we reach past round three, anybody can go. Large, who do you want to have go first? I'll go first. I'll go Dave. against them. All right. Large versus Dave. Large versus Dave. Combined age of Jason Sudeikis, Olivia Wilde, and Harry Styles. Combined Oops. age of Jason Sudeikis, Olivia Wilde, and Harry Styles. Harry Styles? Yep. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. 
All right, pens down in five, four, three, two. Large reveal first. One. One oh nine. One oh nine. Dave. One sixteen. One sixteen. The correct answer. One fifteen. ZD gets a point. Very good guess by Dave. Both very good guesses. ZD. Do we get double points if you go head on the Eddie rule? Is that still a thing? Yeah, yeah. If it would, if you would have got one fifteen, it would have been two points. Okay. All right. I wonder who I was off on. I guess I didn't have to be on. Whatever. Large. Who's next? Um, Vibs is next. Dave, who's next? Uh, Eddie. All right, here we go. Hmm. Weird one. Total James Bond movies. Total James mm. Bond movies. Oldest guy in the company. How old is Harry Styles? <laughs> I guess Harry Styles is 28. How old this is the uh, Eon series, which is the official series, by the way, if that matters, for those fact-checking us at home. The Eon series. The main line. All right. Viv, you reveal first. You have, are you done? Yep. Okay. Answer? I said 21. Eddie. <laughs> I said 22. Eddie said like 22. That. The correct they answer. Have much better play. No. 25. That is correct. Even not the word tragic. Switched That's... it from 18 at the last second. Uh, Vibs, I mean, it's me, Marsh versus Clem. Marsh versus Clem. Here's your question. Rotten Tomatoes critic score for the movie Die Hard. XYZ, you can tie it up if you get it dead on. Obviously, ZD, it doesn't matter. Whether you get it dead on or not, as long as you get it, you win this round. No pressure, Jake. Yeah. Call his whole life as long lives on this. Critic score for Die Hard. Critic critics are such team. dickheads, though. No offense, Jeff. Movie critics are assholes. Though. I'm not. I'm not a movie critic. <laughs> They're never right, but I don't know. I know this was a... for Rotten Tomatoes. I don't count as a critic. <laughs> MovieRankings.com, much better anyway. Here we go. Uh, .net. Smart man. Five, four, three, two, one. Jake Marsh reveal. Seventy-two. Clem reveal. Eighty-four. Correct answer is 94. That is a sweet first wow. Nine to six. Good job, boys. 100% my rankings. Three-point lead. A lot of points left on the board, though. College football next category. College football next category. Okay, boys. XYZ, you have your call a friend and your double sip presented by High Noon. ZD, uh, High Noon, Big Deal Brewing. ZD, you have your call of, uh, your double sip presented by Big Deal Brewing and your double up. College football. This L the LS this LSU QB enjoyed two seasons as a starter in 2012 and 2013 before being drafted by the Titans in round six of the 2014 draft. I think it's Zach Mettenberger. <laughs> Final answer is Zach. I love it. Yeah. That is correct. Nine to seven. We're just Appreciate ripping it. answers today. This Appreciate is crazy. It. Here we go. Other side to make it ten to seven. Nice job, Chase. This Oregon QB enjoyed a little over two seasons as a starter before being drafted by the Steelers in round five of the 2008 draft. I'm trying to think who was a backup with, to Roethlisberger. Yeah. They have a black quarter? Is it black Yeah, Charlie Batch, but I mean. Yeah, it wasn't Batch. He was Eastern Michigan, right? Yeah. Um, Ten seconds. I can see the guy. Oh. Need an answer in? Five, Who's after Harrington? Like a few four, years after. Three, two, one. No answer, Jeff. <laughs> Dennis Dixon. That is Dennis Dixon. Dennis Dixon. Dixon. Wow. That is correct. The streak continues. A double Charlie sweep Dixon. every round. Crazy. XYZ That's down amazing. one. Worth noting, ZD has the advantage. They do have their double up still on the board. Next category is uh, – excuse me, the next – yeah, that next category is supermarket sweep. Do you want to double Z? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, XYZ to make it nine to nine. Two blank supermarket products. Name the products. Uh, 
Oh, this is easy for us. I'm going to go grape nuts and toaster strudel. If anyone has a problem with that. I think it's definitely toaster strudel. I have no idea on the first, but I no we, idea also, have first a, we also have a double sip. So if you have two similar names in mind, but if you're sure. <coughs> I think we probably could use that in a history or something. So I'm going to go grape nuts and toaster strudel because I'm fat. That is correct. Good shit. Nice, large. Never would have got grape Tied up nine to nine, but to make yeah. it 11 to nine. Zidi. God, okay. Left is Crave, right? Yep. It's some stupid ass. It's, I think it has like a Z at the end of it. It's some... Zingers. Z... No? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <clears throat> uh, is it a Zingers? I, I I feel like it's some wacky name like that. I just don't rem- I don't know what it is. It's definitely so we're crave. saying the left is Crave and the right is Zingers? I think so, dude. All right, I'm final thinking. answer. Crave is the left. I don't know about the the right. I'm, I wish I knew. I, I, I don't know. Uh, Something it, like Tyson. nugget, like nugs. I don't know. They're like chicken nugget shaped. I have yeah, no idea. Uh, boom, not, you can try bites. Five. It's already bites is already on there. Yeah. Try nugs. 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 Final answer. <laughs> no idea. Uh, Clem and Eddie were clo- It's any tizers. Any tizers. Oh, bites and any tizers. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Fuck. Awful. Nine to nine. Tied up. Both teams missed their double, though ZD did steal it. Double sip on the board presented by Big Deal Brewing for each team. XYZ, you do have your call of friends still. Next category is Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball. Boys. This is for ZD. Matt Latos peaked in his second season, finishing eighth in 2010's NL Cy Young voting, posting a sub-3 ERA and 14 wins for this team. I think it's the Reds. Uh, we, we have our phone a friend if we want to call someone to confirm, but I remember him being on the Reds. If you have somebody to call, we can do it now. I don't know who you call baseball-wise. Do you have Vibs? Do you have Clemmer's number? I do, but my phone is downstairs charging. I can go grab it. Is that fine? And Can we do that? Or do you want to grab your phone. That's fine. Yes. Should we, do we want to use our phone a friend on Clemmer? I, I don't know. You, where do you think? I mean, you how positive are we that it's the Reds? Oh, you are? Oh, wait. You're I mean, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like eighty percent. Ten seconds. We're gonna go Reds. Final answer. Padres, Padres right? Padres, yeah. It was, yeah. It was, it was, that Padres, was final answer. I Ten to nine. I he was a Red. I the blame for that. I knew that was Padres. He was a Reds player. That is fair. Other okay, side, gam- gambling brain took over on that. One. <laughs> I don't want to go downstairs. I think. <laughs> It was a downhill. It was all downhill after Trevor Cahill's second season, finishing ninth in t- 2010 AL Cy Young, posting a sub three ERA and 18 wins for this team. First blush is. Oh, I have two teams again. God damn it. A's maybe. A's was my first guess. Indians was, was my other guess. I don't know if he was even on the Indians though. A's was my first blush. Really? I. Uh, you don't remember him on the on the A's? No, no I don't. But. That's what both of you guys thought. You want to go down and get Clemmer? <laughs> I, won't, I won't do it. <laughs> he wasn't on the Diamondbacks, was he? Brewing. That's, a, that's NL. That's AL, Dave. Good point. A's final answer. That's correct. Ah. That's nine. Oh, that's a wild game. I was the Indians. That's it's the most combined match. steals in the history of the show. Almost 300 <laughs> matches. Niche you category on, You got history every time. Niche <laughs> category time. This is for, by the way, ZD now 13-0 on the season oh. in Major League Baseball. Their strongest category. I love that. Boys are hot. They know XYZ. Your niche category is Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. <laughs> ZD, yours is candy. Here we go. This is for the tie to make it 11-11. Located in Production Central, this ride is a steel music themed roller coaster featuring a loop and several helixes. Uh, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Final answer. <laughs> Correct. Eleven, eleven. This is a weird. That's you, Jake. You have the nerd. Yeah, it was my bar, it was my bar mitzvah theme. Universal. 
<laughs> I was there last month and I didn't know that. Fucking I thought wait, that wait, wait. was. I, got, I thought that was the one I went on. on. <laughs> yeah, I thought the one we went on, Clem. That was Disney. That was Disney. This is Universal. No, we, yeah, we went on Guardians. Hollywood Guardians. Studios. That's different. This is oh, Universal Studios. Got it, got it, wait, got was that. your bar mitzvah at Universal Studios or just themed to be Universal Studios? Both. Okay. <laughs> <Wow. Incredible. laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, ZD to regain the lead, 1311. <laughs> this thicker version of Reese's Cup launched in 2003 and now has variations of potato chips, pieces, pretzels, and more. I think it just uh, is it is it uh, big cup? Ooh, <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. And Dave loves it. I think it's just big, big cup. cup. I don't think big, big cup. Final answer. Thirteen oh five. That's a big boy answer. Big cup. Just big cup. Just give me a big cup. Do you think when you guys walk in, they just push the big cup right to the front? They don't even. Give you a chance to get regular size. Jeff told me that our candy was our topic today, and I was in the candy aisle of the grocery store. I felt seen. Geography. This is for XYZ. Geography. Take the big cup. <laughs> what is the nearest state capital to Madison, Wisconsin, that also has a population larger than Madison? You have double sip and call a friend. We should... Is we it, should call KB here if we're not sure. We don't want to waste it, our lifelines. Is it? Ah, uh, fuck. I guess. I would. I, I would. I would. I would call KB in a fucking I, heartbeat. Okay. If we have I think we should call KB. They're gonna call KB. Who's making the call? Uh, I think I have his number. I don't have his number. Do you guys? Yes. I'll no, I do have his number. <laughs> I have it. I have it. I, I, no, I he's got it. He's got it. He's I got typed it. in KB, but it's Kyle Bauer is in my contacts. Well, he'll be I'll, shocked I'll, when you, I'll, I'll he gets him. back. I have to cut I'm calling him right now. Yeah. <laughs> I had two guesses. <laughs> oh. Bibbs didn't come back to bad news. <coughs> Are you calling him? Yeah, I found him. <laughs> nice. But he's not going to answer. All right, we're out. Uh, what was right. your guess, Bibbs? You, you started the call early, so you still have more than 10 seconds. You have time. Yeah, do you, you want, want me to call him now? Him? No, we're out. We can't call him again. But oh, I'd say, can we say, is it Milwaukee? Milwaukee, Wisconsin? Milwaukee, final answer. I feel like that would have been too easy. Right. Well, the nearest uh, state uh, capital, uh, uh, Ma state Madison. Capital. It, Madison is the state capital, no? Yeah, capital. So I think it's either Columbus or Detroit. Wait, 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 wait. It, that's not. Is that? That what is the nearest state capital of Madison? Madison is the capital of Wisconsin. So yeah, right, yeah. You win. So Ohio or or Michigan? Sure, right? it's not Minneapolis. Four. Is that closer? Three, you guys call it. You know me much more than I do. Two. Columbus. Final answer. Is Saint Paul, Minnesota. Saint Paul, uh, Minnesota. Minneapolis, yeah. Saint Paul. Fuck. Would Minneapolis would not have counted though? No, I don't. Not have. No. Uh, for the win. Cool. For the win. What is the nearest state capital to Boise, Idaho? Just let's not over overshadow the fact. What a dumb answer from Bibbs. <laughs> he didn't even understand the question. Continue. Well, I, I thought Milwaukee was the capital. I didn't know Madison was the capital. But even in the way they phrased the question, in the front. Go ahead. I also had to go get my phone. I had to go run yeah, a, a no, mile. Yeah, no, it's conditioning was in. Yeah, conditioning. Basic was in. reading comprehension. Continue. <laughs> what is the nearest state capital of Boise, Idaho, that also population larger than Boise? Think Double step available for for ZD. Oh, yeah, that's the nearest state capital. If you get this, you win. If you don't, game remains. So what alive. do we know? What states around? I yeah, I mean, I know I know some capitals here, boys. Don't worry. Washington borders it. What's the What's, capital of Washington? Is it Topeka? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know if we want to be giving capitals away. I don't know if it's going to matter. What's the capital of Oregon? This is a perfect KB fucking question. <laughs> yeah, can, can, can oh, we don't have it. Fuck. We don't have it. <laughs> you might do answer for double dip? Do you want double dip? Double yeah, sip it's either this or next question. We'll double dip. Double sip. Yep. 
First guess. Topeka. Ten seconds. What's what's Oregon's? Oh, I don't know. Where's where's Helen? Eugene. 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 Final. Yeah. Yeah. Other side. Stay alive. Helena is Montana. Right, I know but I don't know the, what the population size of also, that is. Also, Topeka is Kansas. What's is it? What Tacoma? What about, is, is isn't it, 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 <laughs> Washington? <laughs> isn't, isn't Salem, Oregon? Five. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Four. 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 Salem, Oregon. All right, that works. Final answer. Sacramento, <laughs> California. <laughs> Sacramento, <laughs> California. <laughs> Topeka. We were we were even dumber. I was. <laughs> That was a proud moment for either team. <laughs> yeah. uh, 13-11. XYZ, if you get both. Well, I thought we said Tacoma, right? And I said Topeka. <coughs> Tacoma. I said Topeka. I said Topeka. I, said Topeka. I thought Sorry. someone said Tacoma. Uh, XYZ, you have your double sip presented by Big Deal Brewing. Here's your question. To make it 13-12, you miss this. It's over no matter what. Billy Crudup won an Emmy for his supporting role as the CEO of a television network in this Apple TV drama that debuted in 2019. Billy Crudup. I may have an answer to this. Do you guys? I have no clue. No, I'll yell. You can't you talk wanna... it out if you because have... you missed it. It doesn't matter. If you have two options, we have double sip. If anything else comes to mind. Again, Crudup. I got to read. You, you're double, you should use double sip because if you miss it. Yeah, we got to double sip. Yeah. But if you even have a second answer, yeah. Jeff, I mean, you're the host. You're not on the team. I know, right. but I, I just, yeah, I'd like to talk. I mean, to we, we have to use your double step. double sip. Call KB. Do that. I mean, it rhymes with. Game. He's gonna start giving me actual answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's> crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have, oh my god! You use Watch. your double sip. You guys was use it, it. Was it? Was it the news? Was it the newsroom? Five. I don't know. Newsroom. Yeah. That was around the same time. Newsroom. Final answer. Do you have well, a they didn't use option? that double dip, did they? Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. You didn't, didn't, didn't activate it. Yeah, we did. We said well, we got to double dip. Nobody said double dip on your side. I don't believe. You said we got to use the double dip. All right, yeah, let's well, activate it. You got time. Uh, all right, I, I don't even want to use it now. All right, no, you're good. You're you. That's all right. I got oh, nothing. I don't think it matters. <laughs> double dip. It doesn't matter. We don't have a second answer. <laughs> Three, two, one. That is the win for ZD. Do you know it, ZD? I have no idea. I thought it was neutral. I don't know who Crudup is. <laughs> no. Is it the one with Michael Scott was in it? No. Nah, He's the guy true. from uh, Almost Famous, right? Crudup? And Watchmen? Almost Five. Famous? Oh. Three. Two. One. It is the one with Steve Carell. It's the morning show. Morning oh. show. The morning yeah. show. They paid Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon like a billion dollars to be in the show. Yeah. Other side, John Goodman has had a supporting role as the patriarch and head of the family business in this HBO comedy oh. debuted in 2019. Oh. ZD will finish the year 6-3-1. Gen X was 4-3-0. Righteous Gemstones. That's Righteous right. Gemstones, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'll leave. <laughs> Thank you. What a fucking chaotic match. Um, <laughs> oh, well, you know, but Jeff, you listen to that. You don't hear me say double sip. I was getting rid of. I was getting ridiculed from the other side. <laughs> oh, 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 the host is getting ridiculed, so everything goes out the window. You, you actually said double sip. Yeah, I said, oh, we should double sip. Let's double sip. Yeah, we were. I mean, it's the last question of the game. Why wouldn't we double sip? Well, Whatever, we didn't have an answer. It doesn't why matter. would Steph Curry call a timeout when he didn't have any? Sometimes people make mistakes in the heat well, of the Steph game. Steph Curry is not Gen X Y Z. I we could, are, but doesn't but does it, does it, does it, does it large have to call? Am I wrong about that? Large has it say double sip? Yeah, the 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 yeah. captain of the team will say the the lifeline. That is correct. correct. It didn't matter. Captain, captain of the year. Anyone on the court can say it. There's double sip. <laughs> Still think about the capital wrong. A lot of new rules. So, for Eddie, we just had a fairly mm-hmm. easy victory rolling into the playoffs. We're in good Six, three, and one. ZD likely going to be a top four seed. Jet XYZ playing game last year, finished the year four, three, and oh, above 500. They'll be probably anywhere between seven and 10 seed. Uh, two of the most famous first round upsets. Two of the most famous. Like, we have them played just two fucking seasons. They've upset in the first round every year. Two dangerous teams. Two former Final Four teams. That's it, though, on their regular season. We wrap. Uh, two more matches this week. Team Minahan uh, 
taking on the Misfits, who are in a battle for the tournament. They are on the bubble. And then the last match of the week for the uh, spot in the champion, the regular season championship. Regular season. Regular season champions have never won the tournament, by the way. Uh, the Honkers taking on the Yak. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Big Deal Brewing and the Barstool Sportsbook for sponsoring the bonus round. We will see you next time.